I am Reggie from Stupid Relations. In this video, I will show you how to export a frame using menu, using browser, using a keyboard shortcut. In addition, I will show you how to export multiple frames. I'll show you how scale image option works. So let's get it on! So before we start, we have to make an export template. Just go to this share button right here and then add destination. And then you can see this save current frame. Just drag it to its destinations at the left and then just leave it as is. Go to add destination again and then drag this image sequence and then make jpeg or png or any image you want okay so the export file type here doesn't affect the final export okay exit so we have our clips on our timeline here if you want to export this current frame so the location of the playhead will be the exported frame okay so i have selected this frame right here you have two options you can go to file and then share and then save current frame so if you go to set things you can still change the export file you want so if i want to make it png i'm gonna select png and then let's go to info so you can change your creator your description or your title let's make it dance thumbnail description you can change this, uh, you can change this if you want and then the creator and then the, you can also add tags and then hit next and then save now let's go to our desktop so we can see our frame right here i'm gonna hit spacebar to preview our image so we now have our image on our desktop okay then i'm gonna go back to our final cut pro i'm gonna select a frame so right here so once you've selected the frame you can go to your this share button right here and then save current frame and then you can change the title let's change it to fist bump okay and then description then settings let's change it to jpeg and then and you can now hit next and then save so now let's go to our desktop so we now have our second image right here i'm gonna hit space bar so that's our exported frame okay let's go back to our final cut pro so now let's go to our second clip so you can also export the frame using keyboard shortcut but first you have to go to your destinations and then go to add destination and then select save current frame and then right click and then make default then i'm gonna hit the exit and then so this is the frame i want to export i'm gonna hit command e so it goes to the export save current frame okay so let's change it to jet ski settings let's make it tiff tiff and then let's leave everything as is and then next and then desktop and then save okay now let's go to our desktop so we now have our image right here gonna hit spacebar okay gonna hit x and then let's go back to final cut pro so how do you export multiple frames you can do it manually by dragging your playhead and then export so you can also make your life easy just hit m to add a marker so let's select our frames so I'm gonna hit M to leave a marker and then M to leave a marker. So we now have our markers right here. So you can just go to the share button and then save current frame. So and then go to settings and then change our file to JPEG and then hit next. So make it number one and then save. So you have to do it manually and then share and then save current frame and then next and let's make it two so so that's the manual method okay but there's an app you can purchase on app store it's called fcpx image exporter so it costs something but you know it costs 499 dollars if it saves you a lot of time it's worth it okay so once you have your markers right here you can just go to file and then export xml and then change our file name to ski jet ski and then xml version you can just select 1.10 or the current version and then save okay now let's go to our desktop we now have our xml right here now i'm gonna open our fcpx image exporter i'm gonna hit command space part to spotlight and then i'm gonna search fcpx image exporter so we have our XML right here. So I'm gonna drag our XML on this box right here, drag FCPX. Now we have our images right here. So this app, you can select different outputs like JPEG, PNG, or TIFF, but let's use JPEG for now. And then you can also change the output file name if you want, but let's leave it as is. Let's play with it once you've purchased the app. And then let's make a folder. I'm gonna right click and then new folder. I'm gonna hit enter and then rename it to Jetski export. So once I have folder here, I'm gonna drag it to this box right here and then export. So let's wait for it to export. 
Okay, it's done. Here we have our images. So that app saves you a lot of time. So I think it's worth it. Okay, looks good. Okay, now let's go back to our Final Cut Pro. And then you can also use the range tool to export a range from your timeline. Just hit R and then left click and drag. Okay, now once you've selected the range, just go to your share button right here and then export image sequence and then hit next. Let's make dance. But let's make a new folder first so it doesn't mess up our desktop let's make it dance export and then create so let's make our file name dance and then save and then you can also go to this background task window to see the progress but it's done okay now let's go to our desktop so i'm gonna double click our dance export dance so we now have our exported image sequence right here okay so it's a range okay and then let's go back to our final cut pro so that's how you export multiple frames using the range but you cannot do that method using markers you have to use an app for that okay okay and then you can also export everything on this timeline to an image sequence just go to your share bar right here and then export image sequence so this is the duration of our project it's 38 seconds and 12 frames so that's our duration right here so it will export everything into an image so it, it will take a lot of time just wait for it okay then hit next and then let's make a new folder let's go back to our desktop and then let's make a new folder make it project then create and then save now let's go to our background task window so let's see our progress right here okay just wait for it just be patient okay it's done now let's go to our desktop so this is our folder project so the tutorial so the file name will be the new the file name will be the folder name okay so it creates a new folder here tutorial so it creates a lot of frames as you can see there's a lot of frame okay so this is a long clip if this video has been helpful to you go ahead and hit that like button i would really appreciate it let's go to our final cut pro okay now let's go to our next clip so we have a clip with a caption here you can also export including the caption but you have to do something first okay let's select this one and then go to share button and then save current frame and then go to settings and then burn in captions and then select your caption this will permanently burn the caption on your image okay so there's no turning back this is a permanent okay and then hit next and then let's go back let's make it gift and then save so i'm gonna share another current frame but the burn in captions will be done and then next let's make it gift none and then save okay now let's go to our desktop so this is our gift none so there's no caption okay even though we have a caption on our Final Cut Pro, so the caption will not be burned in, okay? But once you've selected the burn in caption, it will have a caption here, okay? Okay, now let's go back to our Final Cut Pro. So you have an option here to scale image to preserve aspect ratio. You don't have to worry about these settings because these settings only affects project with formats that use non-square pixels like NTSC or PAL formats, okay? It will not affect our clip okay so to demonstrate i'm gonna create a new project new project then let's make it ntsc and then let's make it ntsc and then okay and then i'm gonna select our clip right here i'm gonna hit command c and then double click our project ntsc and then i'm gonna paste it right here i'm gonna hit shift z to zoom to fit i'm gonna select our project right here and then as you can see our project is 720 by 480 okay if we go to our save current frame and go to settings if this is unchecked the exported frame will be same as the project settings but it will be distorted or stretched or squeezed okay so i'm gonna go to info let's rename it to ntsc uncheck and then hit next then save it on our desktop okay and then let's make another export let's go to our share button and then save current frame then go to settings and then i will check this checkbox so the exported file will maintain the aspect ratio so it will not be distorted or stretched or squeezed but the number of horizontal or vertical will increase or decrease okay so the 720 by 480 will be 640 by 480 I'm gonna go to end info and then let's make it check and then next and then save 
Okay, now let's go to our desktop. So this is our NTC check. So the aspect ratio is maintained. And then if we select our NTC uncheck, our image is squeezed. So just don't worry about it if you're not using NTSC or PAL project. Okay. Hey, I have a gift for you. A pack of Final Cut Pro plugins to enhance your videos and impress your clients. It's worth $138, but it's yours. Free. Click below for your gift.